Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new camp build. So today we are just outside of Sugar Grove, building on a community suggestion and doing a little Brotherhood of Steel themed thing, so uh, let's jump in! So, as I say, this is a community suggestion that came through on a live stream earlier in the week, and uh, I do regret to say that I can't remember who made the suggestion. It kind of flew by quite quickly, but uh, it stuck with me, so here we are just outside of Sugar Grove. So, for a little bit more detail, here's the map. See, there's my Brotherhood of Seal outpost, which I felt blended in quite well here. There's Sugar Grove, and it's just here there's a tiny little road that runs up from the main marked road to the actual location and there's a little kind of um, bunker type thing guard post sort of thing at the end of this road so this is where we're building see a few of the other locations in the area there so again over on the Maya side this is a spot that I've seen others build at before but uh, yeah on the suggestion I thought it would be a good time so as you can see we've got this uh, bunker thing on the right there and a nice gap on this side here, so we're going to drop a, just a little um, addition in here and sort of uh, extend out from the concept of the other building behind us and turn it into what is basically a Brotherhood outpost, kind of patrol station or something like that on the edge of the mire. So, dead simple for this one, we're just going to get the uh, foundations in first, line them up with these fences as best we can because turns out they're not quite at a right angle. Just drop those in. Nice and easy, and we use the Brotherhood of Steel concrete building set that came around, I think it was probably a couple of years ago now, it was a season reward this particular building set, but it's pretty cool, it's a nice concrete effect and uh, it was good for a whole variety of stuff actually if you want it to. It's the only one with windows quite like this as well, so definitely worth using. There's some similarities with the Enclave set I believe, but uh, to be honest I like this one a lot more. So basically this building is... Essentially, it's going to be a box, which uh, I'm sure you're well aware I normally shy away from, try and avoid that, try and make things a bit more interesting in their shape. Sometimes, however, as it turns out, that's exactly what you need. Because, um, well, the building on the other side, over there, as you can see, is basically a box itself. So it kind of makes sense to have this sort of match in shape so that it um, they look like they're related structures, even if they don't look quite the same because we don't really have anything that's the same colour. But... With a little bit of dressing up and uh, extra fortification, it'll look uh, you know, a reasonably nice cohesive outpost that's been attached onto this pre-existing building. So with that encampment gate there, I did want something that was a little more military vibed, but to be honest, we haven't really got anything that worked for me. So this is the one I've gone for. It's sort of improvised and uh, making use of what was already here, the Brotherhood. That's my head cannon for this. A little bit of faffing around required to get that bit of chain link in because the existing chain link gets in the way. Now with the gate there, there are two versions of the encampment gate. One of them is right at the bottom of the list under uh, the defences tab, and the other one is further up. The one at the bottom is the one you want, because for some reason that will place over that little scrap on the ground there, whereas the other one won't. So yeah, use the one at the bottom of the list if you're struggling. Please that's the way it worked out for me. So. Next little bit of structural work is going to be a lean-to up against the side of this uh, pre-existing bunker thing here. Guard post or something to that effect. But uh, inside there is going to be our crafting space, but it's quite a mess to be honest. Um, there's a bit of room to squeeze stuff in there, but you can't really practically fit all of the workbenches in, so you need a little bit of extra space for it, which is what we're going to put on a little lean-to on the side here. So we're going to try and line this up neatly with the edge. That sort of works. There we go, sits about as low as we can practically get it. And still get walls in, which is the next thing. You can use the warehouse set, because uh, give that kind of improvised structure vibe. There we go. And I'm going to change the other one out for a window, and use the abandoned mine shaft set that we recently got. I'm going to use the roof from that for this, because it's a corrugated metal look that goes quite well with the warehouse here. There we go. Nice. Not quite the same, just not bad. So, moving on a little bit, we're going to do the back edge here. Technically, this is we've got the back entrance to the outpost, I suppose. But as it's also on the north side, it's basically where you're going to spawn in for harsh travel here. So, we're kind of working off that uh, premise. So this will actually be the view that you generally get when you arrive. However, the fences I'm using here are the communist ones. I don't use them very often, they're an atomic shop item, but they are quite good for military sort of vibed camps 
but they are quite clean and they are um they're a bit unusual they don't really fit too well to my mind in scrappy builds also the barbed wire at the top kind of has collision issues at times not that it's like a problem per se it's just a bit awkward so i don't tend to use these a lot however i thought it would fit for this one and make a change so now i'm going to try and have it positioned so that the sort of gap between the two fences here lines up and is sort of even and at 90 degrees basically um so that it lines up with the road basically and doesn't look off kilter <laughs> that was a, a difficult phrase to find the uh, the words for that staircase is getting slightly in the way right now so we'll get that out of the way now we can drop this back down again once we get it lined up a little bit more it's still not quite lined up straight there there we go kind of matches up the road let's drop it down nice so nearly there with the structural elements which add a few more little bits of decoration and uh detailing just to dress this up a little bit stick that staircase back in yeah kind of a, a mix of uh, pre-existing and then adding some improvised elements i did think about putting a gate on this side but uh, the encampment gates are rather on the scrappy side and i didn't want to go down that road too much so one I can kind of live with, two I felt was a bit much, and so I'm leaving a gap here. And most of the Brotherhood's places have gaps rather than actual gates in their fortifications anyway, so it kind of keeps the vibe going there. So I'm going to use this um, raw cement barricade. This one came from Hunt for the Treasure Hunter, actually, so you can still get your hands on it when that pops up if you want to. Definitely one of my favourite pieces for building junk walls with, because it adds really nice texture and it sort of cooperates reasonably well with uneven ground, which this one, the uh, pit version, does not so much, so... This basic guard post does as well, but uh, this pit one, uh, the Fanatics one here, has kind of got a bit too thick of a bottom on it, so you can kind of tell when it's not quite flat on the ground. It doesn't like to clip in, but uh, having stuff that does like this works nicely. So there we go. I'm going to head off now and decorate, and uh, we'll have a look around this place in the tour in just a sec. Okay. So down on the road here, sort of uh, heading in towards the mire with the, the road up into the savage died behind us this is uh yeah i thought it'd be good to kind of start from the road and then you can get a, a look at it from a distance it kind of works quite well with this the outside of this camp in some ways is a little bit on the plain side but with it being a kind of military outpost vibe i felt that worked it's kind of a running theme with this one i've done some decorating with it but i didn't want to take it too far because a lot of the stuff we had up available doesn't really give off the right military vibe so kind of striking that balance was a bit difficult i think it's come out okay but uh, it's a little less detailed than some of my other builds got a little uh, guard post out there with a turret on it just to provide a little cover fire because i have been attacked here in the brief time it took me to build this which really wasn't long and i got attacked twice actually in that time once was liberators which was not too much of a problem and once was uh, a couple of very high level rad scorpions which was considerably more of a problem and demolished about half of the camp but uh, what can you do so, heading on in, so you've gone for a simple, small, compact, just kind of an outpost, not a, a major base, so I kept it with that vibe going. We've got a few decent fortifications, a few bits and pieces of uh, set dressing around. I did a few mannequins with various Brotherhood steel clothing on there to keep that sort of vibe going. We've got the Brotherhood uh, totem sign thing, as well as a flag up there and a few wall decorations as well. That bit of plywood there above the boxes is actually... Um, one of the responders uh, plywood signs that comes up in the atomic shop sometimes but the logo on it is just small enough to disappear behind that brotherhood one so i put the two together and uh, work quite nicely to cover up an otherwise open window so this is the pre-existing room and uh, i added the workbenches in here and obviously the punch card machine there but basically everything else almost everything else is uh, pre-existing it's the stuff that was here before i started so there's there's a couple of stash boxes on that desk there that I put it in you can kind of see some things have spawned in, like that uh, barricade there that's just inside my <laughs> workbench. The workbench is still accessible, so that's great. But uh, yeah, working around the existing stuff is a little bit problematic. I do wish we had static versions of some of this stuff for our camp there. That would be nice. But uh, yeah, ultimately fitting stuff in here because it's not very uniform in its distribution. It makes it look more organic, which is great, but it makes it harder to build in there, so... Uh, We've got a few things in there and it works as a crafting room for at least weapons and armour. And I've got the 
power armor workbench out here, which definitely had to have. And here is our lean-to for brewing and crafting. And I guess the head cannon for this is they're doing tests on stuff they bring back from the mire. Because uh, it doesn't make a right lot of sense for them to have brewing stations in um, a Brotherhood outpost. But uh, yeah, we'll assume this is where they're testing stuff they found in the mire. And I've tucked my vendor in there as well. Just a little bit of extra dressing and uh, just so that it's there somewhere as well. So as we step out the back gate here, a little look at uh, the sort of a nice military vibe on the back edge there, I think. I like how that works. But uh, yeah, another guard post out the back here with a heavy laser turret on it. They don't use these turrets very often, or any turrets very often, to be honest, because they use up so much budget. But given the somewhat military feel of this and the location, it's not a bad idea to have at least some defences here. They're more an alarm than uh, an actual defence, but, you know, it works. So on the left here, I had planned to basically use the junk fences to dress up the otherwise bare wall on this side, but I realised at the last minute that I needed somewhere for sort of bathroom facilities, which I didn't have. So uh, I kind of extended this out a little bit, walled it off a touch so that it's got that right kind of secure vibe, so they're not getting shot while they're uh, showering and stuff. Nobody needs uh, to go the, the Tywin Lannister route, shall we say. It's uh, not entirely skill, and I did want to put a punchy board down there, but unfortunately uh, the ground sloped so much it looked ridiculous, so... We'll just have to hope nobody runs in and attacks them. But uh, we have a few bathroom facilities anyway. So, let's head on inside. We have actually got a number of Brotherhood of Steel doors that are the same shape as this entrance, but they are way too big, because they're not actually designed for this, they're designed for prefabs, so uh, that was a little unfortunate, but... Uh, it kind of works with the ramshackleness of the whole thing. You've got a few bunk beds at the back there. Still want some metal frame ones that aren't the wavy woolers ones that look a bit more militaristic, but uh, make do with what we've got. And the idea here, as you can kind of see, is to combine a barracks, somewhere for them to sleep, uh, office space for them to do any paperwork, and also a mess hall because they've got to eat tea. So it's a bit of uh, a multifunctional space, this one. Not sure whether they actually sit to eat, but at least they've got somewhere to cook some food. And coffee machine in the corner. So, yeah. Simple and relatively Spartan in here, but it kind of would be if it's military themed, you know? But the Brotherhood texture on the floor there, and uh, I can't remember which texture this wall is, just a generic metal one, I think, but it works quite well with that Brotherhood vibe, so that's what I went for. And there we go. This door is actually off the Wildwood Den, but it, it kind of worked and looked suitably scrappy and beaten up, and I kind of like that for making this place look like it was uh, a cobbled together kind of outpost rather than something purpose built. I think it gets that Brotherhood vibe going. Kind of works well for uh, sort of either trading post or checkpoint or something like that as well if you wanted to go down that road. But uh, yeah, came out okay, I think this. Simple, and yeah, definitely a very cubic structure there, but it works out in the end. So, I hope you folks enjoyed this one. If you did, please do consider dropping subs and likes. I very much appreciate it. It massively helps out. Down below, as always, you'll find social media links, merch store, channel memberships, all those other buttons if you're interested in supporting the channel that way as well. That is a huge help and hugely appreciated. Massive thank you to everyone who's done that already. And if you get a chance, do join us for live streams as well. We are, of course, playing Fallout 76, and we are playing a little bit of Red Dead 2 at the moment, having a really good time with that. So I do hope to join us for those as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.